Srinagar is set to host the G20 Working Group meeting on tourism beginning on Monday. Stringent security arrangements are in places across the Kashmir Valley to ensure the three-day event goes off smoothly. The Srinagar G20 meeting is the first major international event in Jammu and Kashmir since the central government abrogated Article 370 and bifurcated the state in two union territories, that are Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, in 2019. Security forces have been put on high alert after receiving input that terrorist organizations could conspire to carry out a 26-11 type attack during the G20 meet at the behest of the Pakistani intelligence agency ISI. Security forces on duty for the G20 summit will carry special identification passes to avert any threats from terrorists in Srinagar. Security forces from the Jammu and Kashmir Police and Central Reserve Police Force or CRPF will be guarding all the roads from where delegates will reach for the meeting in the Shere Kashmir International Convention Centre or SKICC. At least 60 delegates are expected to participate in the meeting. According to officials, the elite National Security Guard or NSG and Marine Commandos are helping the police and the paramilitary forces to secure the venue of the event. Massive sanitization and area domination exercises have been conducted in the areas around the Kashmir Valley, along the route and in vulnerable spots of Kashmir. Officials said that sniffer dogs and scanners are in place to check for any explosives or IEDs. The Indian Army has been roped in by the Jammu and Kashmir police to patrol the higher reaches of the Zabarwan range overlooking the meeting venue and accommodation facilities for the guests. A hit team of the elite Black Cat commandos is on standby to deal with any terror attack or a hostage-like situation. Last week, China said that it would not attend the G20 meeting in Srinagar. In a statement, the country's foreign ministry said that it is firmly opposed to holding such meetings in the disputed territory. In response, India hit out at China for its objection and said that it is free to hold meetings anywhere on its own territory. Besides India, the G20 includes Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, South Korea, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Turkey, the United Kingdom and the United States and the European Union. India is currently holding the presidency of the G20 and the special invitee guest countries are Bangladesh, Egypt, Mauritius, Netherlands, Nigeria, Oman, Singapore, Spain and the United Arab Emirates. Turkey, Egypt and Saudi Arabia have reportedly not signed up to participate in the summit. There is no official word from these countries till now. It is to be noted that in previous instances, Turkey has repeatedly raked up the Kashmir issue. The first G20 working group meeting on tourism was held in the run of Kutch in Gujarat in February and the second one in West Bengal, Siliguri in April. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.